thank you so much. Aaron, thank you too. Thank you, thank you for being, a, a, you know, supporting this class and, and having such a, an important contribution to making this a success. Uh, everything goes really smooth. And again, thank all of you for showing up. We couldn't have a class if you wouldn't be here. So I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And um, I want you to know how much I love being here. I really enjoy the time. So today I posted uh, both in the waiting room and the um, uh, and then to everybody a uh, little 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 uh, a description on on one of the first exercises that we'll be doing later on with the weights, and um, that's an overhead press. So you might want to, uh, if, if you haven't taken a look at it like but that, you can probably take a look at it later. Right now, we're going to get right into business and start exercising. Make it work for you. Don't overdo it. Uh, you can do the class standing or sitting. I will try to uh, do some modifications for those of you that sit or just alert you to, you know, what the, what the difference might be. Now, we're going to start with three hard opening breaths. So palms in front of the abdomen. So when we inhale, just give it a nice big stretching through the thighs. Open the chest, yeah, and exhale. Now come down to a squat. Now when you come up, I want you to come up really slow to feel it in your buttocks. So inhale and stretch. Oh yeah, and exhale. Oh, this is so good. And one more time through the nose. Let's inhale. Give it a nice stretch. Now when we exhale, let's come down to forward bend. Just hinge at the hips so we're not curving the back. You don't have to come down real low. You just want to pull in the back of your legs. You just go to where you don't come down any further, hold it here, and let the legs get used to it. Now we're gonna add three breaths, and notice as you relax into it, you'll come down a little bit further without curving your back. So inhale, and exhale, just relax, and just feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Again, through the nose, that's inhale, and exhaling, just relaxing a little bit more to that stretch. Oh, one more time, inhale, and exhaling, falling even deeper into that stretch. Now when we inhale, let's slowly come on up and exhale, relax. So I say pretty much the same things over and over in every class. So kick the legs out, shake the arms. So you don't have to remember anything. And these classes are recorded, so you can uh, 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 catch this. Uh, this will usually be recorded uh, by mid-morning tomorrow. And when you push down into a hip, you're opening up the tissue in the hip area. So everything we do is designed to open up the flow of the body so the body naturally uh, nourishes itself. You're going to get the most advantageous environment for the body to uh, allow the nutrients and the energy to flow from doing the class. So hope you're drinking water. So if I forget to mention to take a sip of water, just stop any time and take a little sip. You don't have to do everything in the class. Just do what makes what, what's good for you. Now, as you're doing this same up and down motion and pushing into a hip, I want you to just simply bring the arms up to shoulder height so the inside palm is face down, the outside palm is face up. Now, when you reach back, you're, you're squishing the muscle that kind of wraps around your scapula a little bit and that kind of it's like a little form of self-massage, it should feel good. And when you reach back also, you're opening up the side of the chest and it's a nice little stretch there, just opening up the tissue. Okay, now widen the step a little bit and reach up high, give it a good stretch. Go to the other side, give it a good stretch. Yeah, again, just take your time and stretch. One, and then stretch one more time each side, give it a good stretch. Other side and stretch and then come to the center now let's just bring a little vibration into the body. Just uh, uh, let the arms relax for a moment. Just start bouncing the knees. And the shoulders are over the hips. The hips are over the ankles. Now let's start shaking the palms. Just get everything shook up. Bring a vibration in the body. This loosens everything. Now just wiggle the hips. Just a little wiggle the hips. And let's start shimmying the shoulders. Just kind of relaxing the shoulders. Let the arms relax as we shake the palms, and then just bobble the head. Let everything relax in the whole body. Just let the body loosen up through the vibration that's already begun by shaking the knees, bouncing the knees. All right, now <laughs> let's stop for a second. Let's put the hands in the hips. We're gonna do a dynamic stretch for the back of the legs. We'll impact the right and the left hip. So when you inhale, I want you to 
just come down your right side, lock the knees as you exhale, come on down, move it around. And then when you inhale up, you feel it in your right hip. As you exhale down, you feel it in your left hip. Now you feel it through the back of the legs as you're moving across, inhaling on the upswing and exhaling on the downstroke, moving it through the back of the legs, inhale up, hold it here at the top. We're going to reverse now, exhale the opposite way, with the head up, keeping your back straight. Ah, that's a good stretch for the back of the legs. Inhale up, feel it in your left hip. Exhaling down, you feel it in your right hip. Stretching through the back of the legs. Inhale up and exhale down. So you get a nice full range of motion by going both ways doing this. Inhale up, one more time around as we exhale on the down stroke. Stretching through the back of the legs. Inhale up, when you get to the top, we stop. As you exhale, relax and just take a moment, kick the legs up, shake the arms, give it the shoulders. Now let's work on stretching both uh, one leg at a time. So step forward with your right leg, put the hands on the hip. Let's inhale up, exhale, just hinge at the hip and just uh, kind of sink into the stretch for the back of that leg that's out front. And Find your balance for a second. Just let the leg get used to it. Don't, don't, put, don't force the stretch. Just let yourself relax. Now we'll breathe into it. And just relax into it. You'll stretch a little bit deeper very safely. So it's inhale and exhale. Just relax into the stretch. Thinking again, inhale and exhale. It should feel really good. If it's feeling bad, <laughs> back away a little bit. Again, inhale and exhale a little more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up, take your time, and exhale. On all these exercises, kick the legs up. On these, all these exercises, coming up slowly is very advantageous, so don't just pop right up. Use it to your advantage. Other side. So it's inhale and exhale, head up, just lean into the stretch. <laughs> yeah, ah, that's a good stretch. Now find your balance, like get used to it. Good, now let's breathe into it. Inhale and exhale, just relax into the stretch for the back of the leg. Again, through the nose, inhale and exhale, and relaxing a little bit more. This is considered a static stretch. Again, through the nose, inhale and exhale. It's when you hold a stretch and breathe into it, that's doing static. Now inhale, slowly come up and exhale, relax and kick the legs out. Shake the arms, shin the shoulders and bottle the head. All right, now let's, uh, do a foot and ankle stretch. So uh, just step forward with your uh, right foot and let's pull the toes up and stretch so you feel the back of the calf as we're doing this. And uh, just hold it for a moment. Okay, put the toes down. Now just lift the heel up and just stretch the foot and you'll feel a little bit different in the calf as you're lifting that heel up. Okay, let's do it again. Bring the toe, heel down, toes up and just hold it. Yeah. And then toes down, heel up, hold it. We'll do one more time each side. Heel down, toes up. Toes down, heel up. Now come down and then bring your instep up. So you're, uh, you're standing on the edge of the outside edge of the foot a little bit. Okay, bring the instep down, now lift, lift the outside up. Again, inside. Put it down, outside. Put it down, inside. Put it down, outside. And then come back. Now bring the foot back and just kind of rotate your ankle around one way. Go like the inside, so going around. Now let's go the other way. Just slowly loosening things up. Okay, now let's do the same routine with the other leg, other foot. So step forward to your left foot, okay? Let's begin by bringing the toes up. You just feel the stretch in your calf there. Now bring the toes down, bring the heel up. Okay, we'll do two more times. Push the heel down, pull the toes up. 
push the toes down, feel the heel up. Notice a little bit of feeling, a little different area of the calf you're stretching. One more time, push the heel down, pull the toes up. Toes come down, the heel comes up. Then bring the heel down, leave the foot right there, and just bring the instep up. So you're leaning on the outside edge of the foot, pressure there. Now bring the inside down, bring the outside up. Okay, let's put the foot down, go two more times each side, bring the instep up. Bring that down, bring the outside up. Bring it down, one more time each side, inside up. Come on down, outside up. Then come down. Now bring the foot back and just lift the heel up and kind of rotate the ankle one way. Start one way. Good, now let's go the other way. Good job. Now let's cut, let's, uh, Hinging at the hip, bend the knees, and just sink down and put your hands in the knees. So push the knees to the outside, come around, and then straighten the knees as you come back. Push down, around, and then straighten the knees as you come back. One more time, push out, around, straighten the knees as you come back. Other way now, reverse, push out, around, come up, push out, around, come up one more time, push out, around, and come up. Now kick the legs out a little bit, just relax the body. Let's do a deltoid stretch. Bring this uh, right arm across, take the palm and pull the elbow in, or you can take the crutch and just uh, let the uh, palm arm relax. Now let's pull three times and hold it right, right where you've achieved. So inhale, pull it a little bit, exhale, hold it right there. Inhale, pull just a little bit more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more. Now exhale, slowly unwind out of this, and then just shake the arm, shake the shoulder. Other hand across. Take the palm or the elbow. Square your shoulders to me, let this arm relax. Three breaths, so let's pull. And exhale, hold it. Inhale, pull. And exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more. Now exhale, slowly unwind out of this. Shake the arm, shim the shoulders. Now take the right hand across and make a fist, stiff arm. Take the left hand, come right up on top and just give a little tug. Now we'll add the breath and tug a little more. So inhale, pull just a little bit more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more. Exhale, straighten that elbow. Inhale, pull just a little bit more. Now exhale, slowly come out of this. Shake the arm, shim the shoulder. Let's do the other side the same way. Keep that elbow nice and straight when you do this. Don't bend the elbow like this, straighten your arm out. Then just take this other palm over the top, draw your shoulders away, and pull. Now let's add the breath. Inhale, pull just a little bit more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more. And exhale, slowly come out and shake the arm, shim the shoulders, bobble the head. All right, both palms together. Now, and we're just gonna open the chest. So let's bend the knees a little bit and just sink. And we'll, we'll, we'll just stand up and pull the elbows back with the, with, the, uh, with the inhale. So it's inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale, come to a squat. Inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale, that's two. Inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale, that's three. Inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale, that's four. Inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale, that's five. We'll do one more. Inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale, no more. Now, let's uh, clasp the hands and bring the uh, palms way above your head, and have the palms facing forward, and let's bend the knees. So we'll rise up and pull the elbows back. So inhale, pull the elbows back, and then exhale, come on down. Inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale. Let's do one, uh, four more. Inhale, pull the elbows back, and exhale, that's three. 
Inhale, pull the elbows back and exhale. That's four. Inhale, pull the elbows back and exhale. We'll do one more. Inhale, pull the elbows back and exhale. No more. Now keep the palms up here. Put it behind your head, all the way down to the neck area. Let's let's bend the knees, feet are hip width apart. So inhale, pull the elbows back and exhale. Bend the knees, come down. Inhale, pull the elbows back and exhale. Relax and come down. Inhale, pull them back and exhale. Let's do three more. Inhale, pull them back and exhale. Two more. Inhale, pull them back and exhale. One more. Inhale, pull them back and exhale. No more. Inhale, straighten the knees and exhale. Come up and relax and just shake the arms out. Shim the shoulders. Take the legs out, kind of loosen up the body. Now, let's bend the knees and put the palms in front of the abdomen. We're just gonna bring them up and uh, cross over the head. So, or actually, let's do a clap so we stop at one point. So it's inhale, just bring them up and clap. And exhale, bend the knees, come down, swing them. And inhale, up and exhale. Just relax the arms and inhale, up. Exhale, three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, last two. Inhale, up. And exhale, one more. Inhale, up, and exhale, no more. And inhale, straighten up, and exhale, relax. Okay, uh, let's put both hands on the chest. Let's bring them right up here on the chest. So I want you to come down into a, uh, a bend, bend the knees. So we're gonna, uh, let's come up for a second. On the inhale, now when we exhale, we're gonna bend the knees and twist to the right. Then inhale, up, exhale to the left. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Let's do one more time. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. And inhale up, hold here and exhale, relax and take the palms up. All right, now let's do the same thing, both hands on the chest, but this time what we're gonna do is bring our right knee up and twist to the right. A little bit of a balance issue here, so uh, make it kind of work for you. And if you're sitting in a chair, just do, do gentle twists and be careful with that, but you can still bring your knee up. All right, so it's, let's begin with an inhale and exhale twist and inhale up, left side, exhale, and inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two to go, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, one more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, no more, and inhale, and exhale, relax, shake the arms, Put the hands on your kidneys. We're just going to lean back, push the belly out a little bit, and just kind of stretch through the thighs. And just hold it here for a minute. Let's breathe into this. So it's inhale and exhale. Just relax in a little bit more. Don't hurt your back, not too much. Again, inhale and exhale. Press in the back a little bit more. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Just bring those elbows back and stretch. And inhale, come up and exhale, relax, and shake the palm around. All right, now I want you to bring a chair up. So you, you don't have to use the chair. We're gonna do a warrior pose. So some of you might be able to do it without a chair, and that's fine. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna step back with our inside leg. If it's next to a chair, I'll be my left leg if, uh, if you wanna do it that way. If it, this is here to hold on to if you need to. So step way back, so give it a good, distance behind you and you're standing up straight with the shoulders over the hips put the palms in front of your abdomen so when we inhale reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch then roll the palms up as you inhale stretching through the abdomen now when you exhale bend that front knee and just lean into the stretch so you should, should feel in the back of that leg that's behind you and we're reaching straight up so you want to have the elbows straight as you can so that brings your arms a little bit closer to your ears 
Now we're going to add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale, lift up a little bit more, and exhale. Don't float, don't pull yourself up. Inhale, just pull the upper body from your waist, and then exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more, and exhale slowly. Lower your arms down and step in. Kick the legs out a little bit, relax the legs. Let's do the same thing with the other side. Step back with the outside leg, nice wide step. Okay, lock those knees. Chest is forward, palms in front of the abdomen. And inhale, reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Roll the palms up as you inhale, lift up through the abdomen. And exhale, bend the front knee and just keep the shoulders over the hips and keep those elbows straight. So you're really lifting up, pulling up. Now through the nose, let's inhale, lift up a little more and exhale. You can look up to stretch. Inhale just a little bit more, exhale, hold it. Inhale just a tiny little bit more. Now when we exhale, slowly come out of this. Straight the knees, step in, shake the arms, chin the shoulders, bobble the head. All right now, let's see. Just uh, let me get my notes. I have two more things I want to do here. Uh, okay. Heel lifts. Let's, uh, you might need to hold on to the chair. We're going to do one at a time first, and then we'll do both at the same time. So starting with, uh, bring your inside uh, foot up or your left foot leg, and we're going to bring our right one up. So some of you might be able to do this without holding on. So through the nose, that's we're going to hold it for a count of 10, and we'll do three sets. You can breathe naturally as you come up, just but inhale on the way up. So let's inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Two more sets through the nose. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly. Let's do one more time. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Now drop the foot down, shake, shake your feet up, just kind of loosen up. Let's do the other side. Now we bring the outside leg. In my case, it's my right foot. And get yourself so you can hold onto the chair if you need to. And here we go. Inhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slowly bring it down. Two more. Inhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slowly let's do one more time. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Okay, now let's do both at the same time. You may or may not need a chair. So, holding it for a count of ten. Here we go. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Two more sets. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slowly, let's do one more time. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. All right now, I want you to sit in the chair. Let's do a, a little gluteal amnesia relief exercise. So you're sitting in the chair, sit uh, like not all the way in the back, because we're just gonna bring the behind off the chair three to six inches. We'll do 10 of these. And I want you to pull it up with your chin so you leave with the chin so you have a nice straight back. All right, so here we go. All set. Here we go. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Nine more. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. That's two. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly makes number four. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. <laughs> Five more to go. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Six. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Three more. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Come on down. Two to go. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Come on down, one more time. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Come on down. So when we're doing this, and the, the next time we do this next class, or if you do the replay, just kind of lift the behind off the chair, but don't come up too much. I just, we just want to stress a, a, a tight little area there as we do this. 
Now we're gonna do a little body tapping and then we're gonna go into some uh, optional weight lifting. And uh, so you can use weights or you can do it without weights. But right now let's do tap down the body and just open up the body. You can stay seated for this. We'll just start, if you're wearing glasses, you might wanna take them off because we're gonna tap around our eyes. So tap the top of the head and come down to the crown. Uh, crown your seventh chakra up here. It's the key energy center in the body. It's called the gateway chakra. No, it's not a gateway, it's a uh, heaven's, heaven's chakra. And then come down behind the head to where the head bone touches the neck bone. Then come behind the ears and above the ears and all around the temples, the temples, the temples. Okay, now on top of the ears, up and down the ears, you want to make them a little red to bring some color there. And they just, they get red right away. You don't even have to look. Just know that they're getting red just by tapping it. And then just pinch up and down, pinch up and down. Just gently, you don't have to do intense. Okay, now back to the temples, the temples, the temples. All around the forehead, the forehead. Okay, just come between the eyebrows. And this is your sixth chakra, your mind's eye. Now do the eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. Come down to the come to the outside corners of the eyes. Come down below the eyes on top of the eye sockets. Come straight down below the nose on the lower upper level of the gum line. Then tap up to the back teeth, staying on the gum line, and then come back down again. Jump down to the lower level. Do the same thing in the lower level, coming to the back teeth, and then back down again, and then all around the uh, chin. Okay, come underneath the jaw and slowly tap on the. Uh, bone coming up behind the jaw below the ears there's some soft tissue in there this is glandular okay now we're going to do a scrunchy face and open face just to give you the opportunity to stretch out the face so you can uh, when we do open face you can make a, a sound and stick your tongue out and you, you want to just really squeeze and tighten it's good for the complexion and brings color into the face which is very restorative makes you look good you have a really tight fist tight tight camp you know, really squeeze the fist, squeeze the whole body, but really the face just gets tight. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna do open face. And again, you can make a sound and stick your tongue out. One, two, three, ah. <laughs> Okay, two more times, give it a good scratch, really tight, okay. One, two, three, ah. Okay, one more time, give it a good scratch. Do as tight as you can, make it count. One, two, three, ah. Okay, just relax for a second, feel tingling in the face. All right, now let's extend the right arm out and drop the head down and see so have plenty of room to tap with the shoulder next to the neck. So we're sending shock waves down into the lungs and top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm, the elbow, coming down the forearm to the wrist, top of the thumb, front of the fist, pinky, the lower wrist, start coming up the forearm, uh, to the elbow, tricep, tricep, armpit, armpit, upper part of the chest. Okay, now let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Shoulder connects to the neck, that part and up. And then on top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm, start coming down the forearm to the wrist, top of the thumb, front of the wrist, pinky, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm, elbow, elbow. Tricep, 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 tricep. Armpit, armpit, armpit. Okay, upper part of the chest. Now this is a wonderful opportunity to get rid of stress in the body. So we shout it out. So we're gonna uh, follow me. When I go ha, you go ha after I go first, okay? Ready? Ha! Ha ha! <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> you can let yourself go. <laughs> Give yourself permission to just get into it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, that feels so good. Laughter is such a powerful energy. To stress, it stresses the whole body, but in such a positive way. Come on down to the abdomen, abdomen, abdomen. 
All right, now let your calf to be out for a minute. I want you to have the chin over behind us. So just leave with the chin. Allow your calf to slowly come up. All right, good. Now let's uh, bring your feet to the uh, hip width apart. Lean forward and do your kidneys, 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 lower back. Now do your uh, tailbone, 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 buttocks, buttocks, buttocks. Okay, now let's come down the back of the legs. Okay, the instep, instep, instep. Come up the insides of the legs. Go to the hip, hips, hips. Come on down the outsides. Okay, now come up the in, uh, front of the legs and hang out at the knees when you get there. All around the knees. Come up your thighs, 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 thighs. Abdomen, abdomen, abdomen. Cross your hands, let's sweep down to the toes. Saying a positive affirmation of it feels so good. Ready? It feels so good. Let's do two more times. Ready? It feels so good. I'm going to say the third one in Korean. It's Aishwana Da. Ready? Aishwana Da. <laughs> All right, now I invite you to sit down. Let's go into a brief little relaxation just to stop, rest for a second, and absorb the energy we just created. And then we're going to jump right into it. So it's only going to be for three minutes. So your posture is important. Sit up straight with the shoulders over the hips, the knees over the ankles, and just uh, you can lower your eyes to the earth or close your eyes. Just to let yourself get comfortable. And then just simply bring your mind's awareness to the breath. So allow yourself to catch your breath. Let your breathing be natural and comfortable. And try not to think too much. Just be present within the moment. That's why you want to bring the mind into the body, just by being present with whatever is going on in this moment. Just accepting it all, just, just being aware, just looking, observing. There's nothing you have to do at this moment. So allow yourself just to be in the moment. Give that to yourself as a little, little gift of time. We just take just this moment for yourself. So when you're inhaling, you're aware of the body expanding. When we exhale, we're aware of the body completely and deeply relaxing and letting go. Next time you inhale, with your breath being just natural and comfortable, bring the breath into the face. Into your face. Then let the face relax as you exhale. Do this for a couple of breaths. Now, next time you inhale, bring it the breath into the shoulders. Shoulders. When you exhale, relax the shoulders. Just let them go.
All right, let's uh, open our eyes and clasp our hands in front of our abdomen. So when we inhale, let's feel the body expand. When we exhale, feel the body relax. Clasping your hands in front of the abdomen, we inhale, bring the palms up to the chest, roll them forward. As we exhale, extend the arms into a stretch. Then inhale and exhale a little bit more into that stretch. Now when we inhale, lift the palms up. When we exhale, look up the stretch. One more breath. Inhale, stretch a little bit more deeply and exhale, slowly lower the palms down to the left. Now let's just twist the spine a little bit. So if you're concerned about hurting your, your bones, just to go like this. Otherwise, take one hand to the opposite knee. So we'll start with the right hand to the left knee as you inhale and exhale, look behind you into a twist. One more breath. Inhale, twist a little more deeply, and exhale, come on back to the center. Let's do the other side. So it's inhale, and exhale to the other side. So it's inhale, and exhale a little more deeply into that twist. Now when you inhale, come on back to the center, and exhale, relax, just shake the arms out. I invite you to take a sip of water and get rid of the chair and stand up. We're going to go into uh, some weights, or weights are optional. So you're not required to use weights. You can just make a nice tight fist when we do the exercise and that'll work just fine. Most all these exercises can be doing done sitting down except when we're lifting a knee up and doing a weight and you just lift a knee up from the chair when we're doing it that way. All right, so the first one we're, we're going to do is an overhead press. So you might want to grab a weights or if you don't have weights you can grab a water bottle um, or just make a nice tight fist that seems to work just fine so feet are about hip width apart they have a good base of support these are soft not locked so let's inhale bring the palms up to our chest and exhale elbows out and all we're going to do is actually have the weights pointed forward well, we'll kind of twist the weights and tap the ends of them to the, to the center or tap your fists together if you're not using weights. But these are soft. So let's inhale, reach up and stretch through the abdomen, tap and exhale, come down. I want to reverse the breathing, sorry. So let's inhale and exhale, reach up and tap and inhale, that's two. Exhale, stretch and inhale. Three, you should feel the abdomen when you reach up. Exhale, stretch, and inhale. Four. Exhale, stretch, and inhale. Five more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale. Six. Exhale, stretch, and inhale. Three more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale. Last two. Exhale, stretch, and inhale. Soften the knees. One more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, straighten the knees, exhale, lower the weights down, or your arms, bend the elbows, wiggle the shoulders, kind of move the wrist, kick the legs out. This next one's gonna be an overhead press with a side tap. Um, by the way, that first one, I gave you a description in the uh, chat when we first started the class today. And I'll try to do something like that each day, give you the more technical uh, aspects of the exercise that we're doing. For those of you that uh, are, would like to learn a little bit more. So it's inhale, bring the weights up to our chest and exhale, uh, elbows out and weights to the chest. Now, all we can do is we're gonna lift our right arm up, tap to the right, and then we'll uh, come down and we're gonna do that 10 times and then we'll switch over and do the left. So it's inhale, and exhale, reach up and tap, and inhale, come down, same side. Exhale, and inhale, that's two, same side. Exhale, inhale, three. Exhale, and inhale, four. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, five. You wanna use this as a stretch. Exhale, six, and inhale. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, two more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, one more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, I want you to exhale, lower the weights, 
bend the elbow, shim the shoulders, bobble the head, kick the legs out. Let's do this again with the other side. So inhale, bring both weights up, exhale, elbows out. Now it's the left side we do. So these are a little soft. So it's inhale, straighten up and tap. Exhale, come down, a little curtsy here. Inhale and exhale. Let's reverse the breathing, sorry. It's inhale and exhale, tap and inhale, that's three. Exhale, tap and inhale, that's four. Exhale, tap and inhale, five. Exhale, give it a good stretch and then inhale, six. Exhale, stretch and inhale, three more. Exhale, stretch and inhale, last two. Exhale, stretch and inhale, one more. Exhale, stretch and inhale, no more. Then inhale and exhale, lower your arms down. Then the elbows, wiggle the shoulders, kind of move the wrists, kick the legs out. Now this next one's gonna be a bent over row and uh, we've gotta be careful not to curve the back. So we uh, bend the knees a little bit, hinge at the hip. And all we're gonna do is simply bring our elbows behind our back. In other words, the waist, the weights or your wrists come up to the shoulders. So we begin with an inhale and exhale, pull up and inhale, come down. Exhale, pull up and inhale makes two. Exhale, pull up and inhale makes three. Exhale, inhale, that's four. Exhale and inhale, five more. Exhale and inhale, six. Exhale, inhale, three more. Exhale, and inhale, last two. Exhale, and inhale, one more. Exhale, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, straighten the knees, and exhale, relax. Now bend the elbows, shimmy the shoulders, wiggle the wrists, kick the legs out. Now this last one, this next one, and it's gonna be a squat with a punch, and then we'll just take a little bit of a heart opening breath break. Uh, so our knees are soft. And uh, I want you to come down slowly and bring the weights up to the chest. So when we, we, we rise up, we're going to uh, extend our right arm and then we're gonna come back down, rise up again and do the left arm. So we begin with an inhale and exhale, rise up and inhale, come down. Other side, exhale and inhale, that's one. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, that's two. Give the weights a little twist at the end. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and three. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and four. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, five more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, Six. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, one more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, no more. Then inhale, straighten the knees, exhale, lower the weights. Bend the elbows, wiggle the shoulders, relax the wrists, kick the legs out. Let's put the weights to the side and we're gonna rest with three heart opening breaths. And then the third one, we come to forward bend and we stand up and I wanna want stand for 15 seconds to absorb the energy. So arms in front of the abdomen, knees are bent quite a bit. So come up really slow for the buttocks. So inhale, slowly come up, stretch through the thighs, open the chest, feel the abdomen and exhale, bend the knees, come on down. Again, through the nose, inhale and stretch through the body. And exhale, come on down. We do one more time this way. So through the nose, inhale, give it a good stretch. Now when we exhale, simply hinge at the hips, keep the head up to keep the back straight. We just wanna stretch the back of the legs. Now let's add the breath, three of them. Through the nose, let's inhale. When you exhale, just relax into that stretch for the back of the legs. Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale, stretching a little bit more deeply for that stretch. Again, through the nose, inhale, 
and exhaling into the back of the legs. Stretch, relax. Now inhale, slowly come on up. And exhale, relax, kick the legs out, shake the arms, shift the shoulders, bobble the head. Now stand up straight with the feet pretty close together. Knees are soft, not locked. Shoulders are over the hips, hips are over the knees, knees are over the ankles. This is a mountain's pose. And just look down towards the earth and just bring your mind's awareness to the present moment. Another seven or eight seconds. Feel the tingling in the body. Okay, good job. Now, this next one's gonna be a, a hammer curl. So, grab your weights accordingly. All we can do is just uh, bring the weights up to our shoulders. So, we uh, bend the knees, and we begin with an inhale and exhale. Bring the weights up to our sh shoulders or the fist, and inhale, come down. Exhale and inhale, that's two. Exhale, and inhale, makes three. Exhale, and inhale, let the arms go straight down. Exhale, and inhale, that's four. Try to touch the shoulders as you exhale, and inhale, five more. Exhale, and inhale, slowly come down. Exhale, and inhale, Two more. Exhale and inhale. One more. Exhale and inhale. No more. And inhale, straighten the knees and exhale. Bend the elbows. Relax the shoulders. Put the wrist around. Kick the legs out. All right, this next one's going to be a tricep kickback. So, feet are together. And, uh, we bend the knees, hinge at the hip, bring the elbows up, and then bring your elbows up just a little bit more so the uh, forearms are parallel, or the uh, uh, arms are parallel to the floor, the back of the arms, and we do the kickback from here. So we begin with an inhale and exhale. Just stretch and hold it look tight, tight when you get to the end, and inhale, come back. Exhale, stretch and just feel this tight a little bit, and then inhale, come back. Exhale, just squeeze and inhale, that's three. Exhale, squeeze and inhale, that's four. Exhale, squeeze and inhale, five more. Exhale, squeeze and inhale, six. Exhale, squeeze and inhale, three more. Exhale, squeeze and inhale, last two. Exhale, stretch and inhale, one more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, straighten the knees, and exhale, lower the arms down, uh, bend the elbows, kind of shift the shoulders, move the wrist, kick the legs out a little bit. Now, we're gonna do a tri overhead tricep extension. That's a little bit different. So you might wanna use one weight. And uh, so some people, let me just demo this. If you use one weight, you kind of grab the uh, weight underneath like this and or excuse me like like this bring it up and then pull it down all right so we're just going to go up straight up and down and uh, if you want to use two weights you just make a bring them together or just grab one weight that's heavier if you have that option okay knees are soft weights are in front of your abdomen so inhale straight the knees come up over the head and exhale, lower the weights behind the back, behind the head. Now, here we go. So it's inhale and exhale, stretch through the abdomen and inhale, come down. Exhale, so we're straightening the arms as we come up and inhale, that's two. Exhale, stretch and inhale, we'll bend the knees on the way down, three. Exhale, stretch through the abdomen and inhale makes four. Exhale, it's a good stretch, and inhale, five more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, make six. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, three more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, last two. 
Exhale, stretch and inhale, one more. Exhale, stretch and inhale, no more. Then inhale, come up, exhale, lower the weights in front of your chest. If you have two, if you have one, just lower the arms down, bend the elbows, kind of shimmy the shoulders, wiggle the wrists around, kick the legs out. Now, this last one we're gonna do is a march with a bicep curl. So what we're gonna do is bring our uh, right knee up and the left arm up, and uh, then we come down and we do the left side. So when you come up, you twist the weight to bring to make the curl. Okay. Right, uh, right knee, left arm to begin. So it's inhale and exhale. Come up and inhale. That's down. Other side. Exhale and inhale. That's one. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. That's two. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Three. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. That's four. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Five more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, six. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, three more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last two. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one more. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, no more. Then inhale, bend the elbows and exhale. Move the shoulders, move the wrists, kick the legs out. Now let's uh, put the weights off to the side. We're done with weights. Come back to the center. I want you to join me for three heart opening breaths, and then we're gonna do a series of stretches to relax the body. Palms in front of the abdomen. Come down into the forward bend. So when we come up, we inhale slowly, come up, feel the buttocks. Stretch through the thighs, open the chest, and exhale, come on down to a bend again. Keep the shoulders over the hips best you can. So it's inhale, come up, and stretch, and exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale, give it a big stretch, and exhale, that feels so good. Now, inhale, straighten the knees, exhale, relax, kick the legs out, all right? Now, let's do a, uh, it's just a complete forward bend, so palms in front of the abdomen. When we inhale, I want you to reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Then roll the palms up as you inhale, stretch through the abdomen. Then roll the palms out as you exhale, hinge at the hips and just lower the arms here. Just pull in the back of the legs for a nice big stretch. Don't pull it, don't, don't force it, just, just relax into it. Now we're gonna breathe and allow yourself to elongate that stretch. So let's inhale. Now when you exhale, just relax into that stretch for the back of the legs. Feel yourself relaxing again through the nose. Inhale and exhaling a little bit more deeply into that stretch. One more time. Inhale and exhaling even more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale slowly, come on up and exhale, relax, and uh, kick the legs out. Shake the arms, shim the shoulders. All right, now let's step forward with the right foot, hands on the hips. Let's inhale up and exhale. Just lean into the stretch for the back of the leg and hold it where you don't come down any further. Just find your balance. Now let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale and exhale. Just relax into that stretch for the back of the leg. Two more breaths, inhale and exhaling a little more deeply into that stretch. One more time, inhale, and exhaling even more deeply into the stretch. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up, slow, feel it in the buttocks, yeah, and exhale, relax, kick the legs out. Let's go to the other side, same way. So let's inhale, and exhale, just relax into the stretch for the back of the leg. Again, through the nose, inhale, and exhale, just relax into that stretch. Two more breaths. Inhale 
And exhaling a little more deeply into that stretch. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now, inhale slowly. Come on up, real slow. That's a stretch too, coming up slow. And exhale, relax the legs. All right, now bring the right arm across the body. Take the left palm in or the elbow. Let this arm relax and just get a little tension. Now we'll add the breath and tighten a little more. So inhale, pull just a little bit more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more. Now we'll be exhale slowly unwind out of this shape. The arm, let's do the same thing with the other side. Palm or elbow. Let the arm relax. Let's inhale, pull just a little bit and exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a tiny bit more and exhale, relax. Shake the arms, shimmy the shoulders, and that ends the class for the most part. So if you care to join me, sit down, relax, and uh, ask me any questions.